Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm doing my June favourites and I'm going to be mixing fashion and beauty into one video. I know normally, or in the past two videos that I've done for favourites, I've done beauty, but I actually didn't have a huge amount of beauty favourites to do a whole video, so I'm going to do fashion and beauty and a couple of other random things that I have been loving this month. So it is June, we're all thinking about summer holidays, or going on summer holidays, or have been on summer holidays, so summer holidays is kind of a bit of a running theme here. First thing I'm going to talk about is this, which I was kindly sent from Triangle. I was also sent bottoms, but the top is prettier. Um, it is basically their new, from their new crochet collection, which I think is probably going to be love-hate this summer. We're probably going to see it all over our Instagram feeds, but I personally really, really love crochet. I wore a really cute crochet top when I was in Seville a couple of weeks ago. I think the colours are just really, really cute. This is almost like a Barbie turquoise and Barbie kind of pinky purple, and it just looks really nice with the white. It's probably not going to be the most tan accentuating colours, but still, it's just like, you know, one of those things. They look amazing in pictures. I'm sure all of our Instagram feeds are going to be clogged up with people wearing triangle bikinis over summer and sorry not sorry, I'm going to be one of them because I love this. I can't actually remember if I mentioned this in last month's favourites. I probably did because it definitely was a favourite thing last month, but maybe last month's favourites was beauty. Anyway, so it's the Olympus Pen Camera, which I got from John Lewis, and Sorry if I mentioned it before, but I am just still obsessed and in love with this camera. I also got the 45mm lens, which creates those beautiful blurry background pictures. It's got the flip-out screen, so you can do your vlogs and your selfies and everything else. It does wireless, so it connects to your phone. You don't even need to have a Wi-Fi connection, you can just get the pictures straight on your phone. And it's just got so many of these little details that make it such a great camera. It's so easy to take good pictures. Loads of my Instagram pictures recently have been taken on the Olympus Pen and I absolutely love it. I did a little blog post on the photography equipment that I use, whether it's the camera that I'm vlogging on now or cameras that I take photos of my blog for. So if you want to read more about the Olympus Pen and my thoughts on it and some comparisons against other cameras then I'll leave that post below. Another random one, you might have seen my homeware haul video or um, my homeware haul blog post, but basically this mug from Anthropology I featured in that video, and I have been loving using this mug or cup, I don't know what you call it, it's got these really cute little feet, it's got three feet which it stands on, which I just think is so adorable, and I always feel really proper when I'm using it, it's almost like you have to be upright and have your pinky out to use it. It's really hard not to spill, I do find my tea sometimes splashes over, so it's not the most functional of mugs, but it's so pretty and I absolutely love this. I've been really into drinking green tea and herbal tea recently, I haven't had a cup of English breakfast in so long, but I've been having my green tea in this in the mornings and I have been loving it. Plus you might have seen it cropping up really randomly in the corner of my Instagram pictures because I'm just so obsessed with this like blue and white floral thing at the moment, so... Yeah, weird obsession number two. So I'm going to do this in a strange order, I'm just going to get everything out of the way and then do beauty at the end. The next two favourites are actually brands. There have been two fashion brands this month that I've been absolutely obsessed with. Both of them, previously I was like, no, they're not for me, but this month I have just been blown away by these two brands. First one, majorly, I was just really not that kind of aware of before. I didn't really think there was anything for me. I thought it was more teenage boys, kind of tourists, but recently I've just been loving everything. And it's super dry. So super dry kindly invited me to their London Collections men event in their store on Regent Street um, a few days ago. And I was invited to their premium shopping area beforehand to pick out a few pieces to wear at the event. And Everything in there was just so, so beautiful. My favourite piece is this embellished skirt, which, what, I mean, I had no clue that Superdry had anything like this. It's all really kind of very luxurious fabrics. Everything has such amazing detail. There's some beautiful embroidered dresses, some like crochet sleeves, but this, I mean, this has taken hours and hours of like delicate work. It's got beautiful stitching, gorgeous embellishment, like, beads and sequins and it's just the most beautiful thing. So this product itself is a favourite. I can't wait to wear this on my summer holidays but also the brand as a whole. If you haven't checked out Superdry recently have a look on their website because 
you'll be so surprised at how nice the stuff is. The premium collection, the dresses, blouses, I've got a white blouse with like a lace panel at the back, all so beautiful. So keep a look out on my holiday videos and pictures because I'm going to be wearing a lot of super dry. And the second fashion brand which has really taken me by surprise and made me fall in love these past four or five weeks is Oasis. So previously Oasis, again I thought not really for me, I didn't think, I didn't really have an opinion of Oasis to be honest, but I took note of their window displays recently, the one, I think it's Argyle Street down by Oxford Circus, just looked so beautiful, I think it was the V&A collection that first caught my eye. And if you saw my Seville Outfit Diaries video, then the first outfit that I was wearing in that with the blue top, that was from Oasis from the V&A collection, so I absolutely loved that. And it was that collection that kind of made me sit up and pay attention. But since then, I've been checking the website regularly, and I love so much stuff from there. So this top that I'm wearing now, it's just, um, it's from Oasis, it's got these really cute, like, crochet details on the what do you call them, on the sleeves, it's just pretty pink stripes and this is more of a basic piece. Um, also these trousers I got from Oasis, they're high waisted kind of stretchy cotton trousers, um, I'll probably try and insert a clip of me wearing them because you just can't get the full idea from me holding them, but they're really beautiful, almost flary, so easy to wear, just with a white top, I get so many compliments when I wear them and I absolutely love these. And generally just their whole v &A collection slash their pastels that they've got in, got in at the moment. They've got like a tribal range. So definitely check out Oasis if you haven't recently because they've got some really, really nice things. And last non-beauty piece, another fashion piece, it's uh, this Topshop skirt. I picked it up recently, I think it was only about £28. It's stretchy so it doesn't have a zip or anything. I was really surprised at how cheap it was and it just looks really, really cute. It's got this like scalloped hem at the bottom which I'm really loving this kind of scallop detail at the moment. I have, I can see, already got like a bit of fake tan on the inside there so I definitely need to wash this one but it's really really lovely and I think I'll be wearing this a lot this summer so love this. And then finally beauty and I only have four products and they're all of the same kind of colour tone so I just have this brownie gold pile, very small pile next to me at the moment and the first thing that I'm going to talk about is these Anne Semenin Radiance Ice Cubes. So I have been doing something with Anne Semenin this month that I've not done before and I'm only using Anne Semenin, Sen well, Anne Semenin skincare. So I've been using their cleanser, moisturiser, night cream, serums and also these. So these are basically liquid skincare serum in a pot which you freeze and then in the mornings you put the pot or the ice cube in a little pouch and rub it all over your face and of course it's absolutely freezing but it really wakes up the skin and it gives me just this beautiful glow and I feel like it kind of tightens the pores and just gets my face ready for makeup. One of my main skincare concerns is under eye bags and almost I guess the same or steroid version of putting an upside down frozen teaspoon on your eye. Um, it has that effect, it just really shocks and wakes up the area so makes you look more awake instantly and they're just really really lovely to use and so unusual, I'd never heard of a skincare ice cube before but absolutely have been loving using these. And since doing the Anne Summerlin skincare takeover, only using their products, I found that my skin is just behaving a lot lot better this month so I've been really pushing away all my foundations and going back to BB creams and tinted moisturiser. So I'm back using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, which I know I think I may have featured in every favourites video I've ever done so far, but absolutely love this, still love it as much as the first time I tried it. I think the colour now is more suitable to my skin, I've been fake tanning a bit more and a little bit brown from Seville, so it's now an absolutely perfect match. And it's just beautiful, it gives a really lovely glowy nourished feeling to your skin and it's not as heavy as a foundation. It's got SPF 30 so I'll be wearing this while I'm on holiday as well. So yeah, once again Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue is a favourite. So the other makeup product which I've been loving this month is the Benefit Their Real Mascara in Brown. I've actually only been using this for about a week but it's definitely a favourite. I already loved the black version and they have now bought out this mascara in brown and blue as well. I was really lucky to be invited to the launch event for this and the blue mascara and the Push Up Their Real liners which they bought out in blue, green, purple and brown. 
all surprisingly really really wearable. When I was offered purple liner, I was a bit like, oh, I've got so much to do after this event, I don't want to look really scary. But it was so beautiful, got so many compliments. If you've got hazily eyes like me, then I definitely recommend the purple. But as an everyday product, I've been using the Their Real Mascara in brown. I find that brown just looks a lot more natural and it's much easier to wear than black. Black can be really intense, I mean there's nothing wrong with that, but I've just been really loving switching it down to a brown recently. I've been building up a brown, very kind of everyday soft smoky eye and finishing it with this. And as with the Roller Lash Mascara, and obviously if you've used the Benefit, um, they're real in black, then you'll know that it's got this really lovely stiff bristled wand which is great for really separating out the lashes. So I've been loving using this recently and the event itself, you might have seen it on some bloggers vlogs but it was so much fun. We basically got head to toe in these white almost like asbestos detective suits and goggles and phone cases and had a massive paint fight. There was rifles, there was water guns, just everything. It was just a load of bloggers and YouTubers throwing paints at each other. It was so much fun, so thank you for having me benefit, and it was such a great way to launch the new collection. And the final product in my June favourites is this, so it's the Nux um, Ulepule, I can't pronounce this, Ulepredigeuse or, um, I don't know. It's multi-purpose dry oil for face, hair and body, and it's their golden version, so I first tried this when I did the day at the Rosewood Hotel with Braun. They gave us a leg makeover and they spritzed this on our legs to give a kind of shimmery airbrush finish. And then I was at a Nooks event at the Sanderson last week because they have launched their um, products in the spa at the Sanderson Hotel and I picked up one of these at the event and I've been using it every time I have been getting my legs out ever since. It's a spray bottle so really easy to use, you don't have to risk like pouring it all over your lovely carpet or anything and it just gives a beautiful very subtle but glittery shimmer to your legs it's just really lovely if you're just getting a hint of a tan or if you're on holiday and you want to have a lovely bit of shimmer and it smells really nice it feels really soft and conditioning I've not tried it on um, my face or hair yet but maybe I will on a holiday but I've been loving using this recently and that is it I feel like that was a really really short favorites but equally I feel like I've rambled on quite a lot so I hope you've enjoyed looking through my favorites with me let me know what your favorites have been this month I feel like I maybe need to be trying out a few new makeup products so let me know if you have any recommendations if you're off on holiday anytime soon then I hope you have a lovely time I am probably on holiday now as you are watching this so you can keep up with what I'm up to on Instagram and I'll probably be doing a couple of tweets as well I might be blogging maybe every other day, I've got a few things scheduled, scheduled, so hopefully that will keep ticking along. Thank you so much for watching and please give it a thumbs up if you like this video, please subscribe, still don't know where that button is, please subscribe if you're new and if you've already subscribed thank you so much, it means a lot to me and I will see you in my next video, bye bye!